that they already had here in custody said he cracked it too. He, you know, he he was in it, and um, I mean, come on now. Right, and and right, right now. You know, Hey, Trump has got a new website, by the way. StopHillary.com. Stop Hillary. Stop, stop buying Hillary is what it is. Yeah, you know, why isn't the FBI... I mean, I understand Obama has their hands tied. Right. To certain things. But if Loretta Lynch was telling the truth, and she is willing to prosecute Hillary, why are they dragging their feet? Why are they trying to wait until the election day or after election day? What, that's they're, ridiculous. Yeah, they're going to wait until after election day because that's what they, um, because of, again, what did the Obama regime do? He, try, he tried to shut, he tried to shoot down the Second Amendment and now he's taking, now the gun rights are, are back in the news again, you know? He's, he's over, he's over, um, excelling is executive orders. You know that. He's over. Yeah. And, you know, when you're doing that, that's to call an impeach, impeachable offense. I don't see Congress or, or the Senate, uh, especially Democrat side, saying that this guy is actually vote ethics violation and we need, this guy should be impeached. I don't see Democrats rising up and doing this. However, they already called, me. Paul Ryan has already asked for um, the recognition for for for, um, uh, for uh, was the resignation for Obama already, and also Joe Biden too as well. He asked for both recognitions already. He actually said that today, and I don't hear I, I don't hear from the I. It is one thing that Fox News left out. There's one thing that we are reporting that way Newsmax is the only the only three outlets you have oh four outlets you have there's a national review online you got us you got Mark Levin TV and you also have Newsmax that's it you got four you got four true outlets now even the even the even the national review um a National Review spokesman on Neil Cavuto you know Marie was on there and she said that you know the person that she invited on from the from the national from the uh, director of the uh, formal director of the FTC said there's no more um, honest rep TV reporting anymore. The only thing you have left is um, in, a, in a National Review that where I come from. Cause I am a representative of the National Review, but you also do have Newsmax. You have the Patriot Concern News Network. Then you have Mark Levin TV. That's all you have now. That's it. You know what I mean? And you wonder why, um, like, Nutrisystem is pulling, they're not cutting, cutting out ads out. You know, they wonder why there's no more Viagra on, to, on Fox News anymore. You wonder why you don't see Walmart on television. They're pulling out. These big advertisers with big bucks are, they see how the ratings are doing. They're seeing the viewers switch the channel, and this is why they're losing these accounts. And this is why we mention these companies. And we walk them with open arms. We really do. When we say their names, they sh they should pay us because we're actually providing a good service. Number one, we are forming, we are educating, we are learning people. That's what we do here on this network. This is what we do. This is what we're about. And and, and you know, this is one thing that we uh, people have a right to have their voice be heard without the fear being cut off. Trish, I want to give you the microphone again. Go ahead. Well, you know, it, it's... They stopped telling... The media stopped telling the truth to the general public years ago. I mean, I'd say 20 years ago. Well, actually, more than that. It's more than 50 years ago, but that's beyond my time. But I've seen it 20 years. But go ahead, Trish. Yeah, it, it's been about 50 years. Um, mm -hmm. When I hit, By the time I hit 16, they weren't... They were nowhere near telling the truth to, to the general public. Mm -hmm. um, it was being hidden. It was being covered over. And, it, you know, it's time for them to get back to telling the public the truth. 
We don't want to hear lies. We want to hear the truth. Oh, and next week on Tuesday, Melinda Trump's issue of Hustler Magazine comes out on Tuesday, the 28th. Well, little guys, that want to see her because as far as I'm concerned, it's nothing but smut. It's, you know, any, t any publication of pornography is smut. And it needs to be listed as such. And if she wants to pose like that for that type of magazine, then she does not belong in the White House as the First Lady. But not because she's got she has a responsibility with a whole a poll too as well. Like I like told you last week, uh, uh, Eleanor Roosevelt, you know, she actually helped create the Boys and Girls Scout Club. You know, she's one of the, uh, um, the images of the Boys and Girls Scout Clubs also with uh, hel helping uh, the Girl Scouts too as well. And also she opened up the YMCA, remember that? And then you have... Um, then he had um, uh, 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 Gerald Ford's wife uh, doing um, uh, Alcohol Anonymous AA. She opened that up for women too, as well, who are who are you know, who are um, uh, battling alcohol, uh, alcohol, um, alcohol. Almost, you know, she almost she, she almost died because of uh, 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 over overdosing alcohol. Remember, she said so several times and you know and uh that melina trump has a, has a obligation to actually be a positive image for women and also a positive moral we have a, we have a moral uh, uh, uh the boy scouts I'm going to give you a Boy Scout model. A Boy Scout is, is loyal, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean. I'm going to say that again. Clean and reverent. You don't see cleanness when you see Melina Trump and and a um and a in a slut in a in a in a, um, in, in a uh, filth magazine. You don't. I call it filth. This garbage is trash. In a trashy magazine. It is not clean. It is, is yes. and sorry, this ahead. is not this is not the image for women at all when you are the head of the um, AA Alcohols Anonymous. Not the image for the Boys or Girl Scouts or the YMCA. This is not the image you do. It's totally inappropriate and right there the president, Mr. Trump, is not qualified to be president. Under that law, under that discrimination of holding the first lady a job, duty, and a service that you're providing for an image for the American people. I said it. There it is. Trish, get, you got the microphone. Go ahead. You know, most of the women that were first, that have been first ladies, even Rosalind uh, Carter. Did they they provided a service to the American public? What can she provide to the American public? Nothing. Nothing at all. All she can provide is, you know, okay, well all she can provide is smut. She can't say, okay, well, you know, young ladies, you need to promote yourself like this. Because what's she doing? And see, while he's in a campaign like this, on a campaign trail, she should not even be doing anything with, with the, the uh, smut publications. No, she different. shouldn't even be doing anything like that. No different than Kim Kardashian. At this point, there's no difference between Kim Kardashian and the, and the, and the Trump people. There's no difference. I mean, this is uh, or, or is a reality TV show that's gone wild, basically. Yep. Trump has. I mean, here's the thing. Here's I call it Trump gone wild. That's what I call it now. Trump gone wild. I mean, what the hell is he doing over in uh, uh, um, um, 
you know, uh, Scotland, Scotland for Scotland. Yeah, what is he doing over there for? Yeah, that's my question. 